Hi friends, Grace here, back with my Pile It Up series, and this is video number two. So um, in the first video, we try to pile up my page with pattern paper. And so this time, I decided that I was gonna pile it up with stickers. Um, let me show you how I organize my stickers. Now this is a very getaway, and um, one of these days, I'm gonna be better with organizing my stuff so I can actually show a video of how my scrapbook space looks like. But for now, I just cut out a shipping box and made it into um, my sticker holder. So this is where my stickers are. Now these stickers are just, uh, <coughs> excuse me, just the uh, um, single sheets that I would buy or I would get um, in uh, my orders so the ones that i have a big collection of um especially the ones that i have i designed for the companies that i designed for the stickers on that goes in a different um storage space but this these are all just the stickers that i've collected and i can't live without or i don't want to throw away and so that is my stickers and so i decided that this video it would be to um try to make a dent from this sticker pile. So um, I'm going to create a um, double page spread for this Pilot Up series and um, I am using these pictures um, again back from 2011 where um, a picture of one of the hikes that my family and I did. There's a bunch. There's two, four, six, eight, 10, there's 11 pictures and um, so I decided that I was going to work on those and set that aside and um, I decided I was going to go use um, because the when I work on my layouts the first thing that I really look at are the colors in my pictures and um, because the page has a lot of natural type colors, the greens, the browns, the blues, and whatnot, I decided I was going to go with a craft cardstock as my base. Let me make that a little bigger. Oops, having a hard time focusing. Let me scoot that around. Okay, there you go, much better. All right, so um, double page spread, craft cardstock background, and I have to have a pattern paper in here. I know that I'm gonna be focusing on stickers, but I have to have a big chunk of design in the back. And I use this um, paper from GCD Studios. It's um, yellow and it's chevron, which is a very big trend right now. So I decided to use that and then um, my pictures are just going to go like so. And I love doing double page spreads for pictures like, I mean events like this that I have a ton of pictures of. Especially with the age of digital camera now you just take a bunch of pictures. This was a I would say about a two hour trip and I took a ton of pictures. And of course I didn't print all of them up but I had to pick this 11 right because then the whole story wouldn't be complete if I didn't pick all these pictures. Anyways so that's how my page is going to be designed. And then now I'm, we're going to be working on um, trying to show you what to do with or how to use my stickers in this page. So I went through and I decided that I was going to decorate some pieces of paper with, um, with stickers. So here are just um, a few papers that I had cut with the Labels 8 die from Spellbinders. And I just cut it on, from white cardstock. And what I'm going to do is, this is going to be where my title is going to go, and then I'm going to have maybe this overlap there, and then this one overlap there. 
And then to decorate these, I'm gonna use some stickers. I have pulled out the stickers that I'm gonna use. I don't know if I'm gonna be using all of them, but um, the goal is to pile it up with stickers. So we'll see what I will use. But um, this one has the date and the place. I thought that would work well. Um, this is a booklet of a bunch of stickers. This is from um, Dear Lizzie Line Neapolitan. And oh, the reason why I pulled this out was because, see this delightful sticker? I don't know if I can focus on that. I am thinking that I can put this with a toothpick pin so I can have a little banner and then I can use the other side to write something that would go with the page. So that is my plan for those stickers. And then this one has a lot of words and sayings so I'm gonna see if I can use those. This one is a letter stickers that has the wood grain on them and I thought it would be cool to use stickers, these kinds of st stickers for my title. And then the border stickers my plan on those was that I will use them to actually decorate my um, my blocks. So to um, add color and texture and design on my blocks, I'm going to use some of my um, border stickers. So we'll see how that goes. And then there's also this um, sticker from Pebbles, which is from a 4th of July line that they had. And it has kind of, it mimics kind of a washi tape look. So I'm going to see if I can work that into the page. And then this one, I like this piece. It is kind of a light green and it has lines on there. So I thought it would be good for a little bit of journaling on my page. And then this one is, um, I like the tree on this one. And since it's an outdoor one, then I will try to see if I can incorporate that. And then I have a bunch of these 12 by 12 sticker sheets from Basic Gray that I will also try to see if I can use the borders on there. And um, I found, okay, this one with the vines. I'm thinking that would be like my big um, embellishment in the page using some foam adhesive and the stickers and also the border stickers. Oh, I love this heart. This one's really cute. So that's where I'm gonna go with this. Um, I'm going to start adhering these things and then I will get back to you um, once I start putting together my titles and all of the other stuff. So I will see you later. Okay, so I'm back. What I did was um, I adhered the paper. Oh, and uh, I don't know if I showed this to you guys already, but what I do if um, I have a paper that I know I'm gonna be um, using as a mat, if I have a cardstock that I know that I'm gonna be using as a mat, I try to cut out the back or parts of the back uh, of the paper that um, the front paper will hide. So I cut out a little piece of that so I can use some craft cardstock later for maybe card making or another project. So I did that for both of the pages. I adhered the yellow paper, I adhered my pictures, and then I added, started adding some stickers. So um, I was able to add three different border stickers on this one. Let me try to see if I can close this close up okay so I did a scallop and then this one fancy trim and then another one and I did that on all three um, now these stickers that had holes in them were a big pain um, and I did three ways of trying to get them out the first thing was just taking them out with my fingers and with some tweezers and so as you can see my tweezers still have a little bit of pieces of um, let me see if I can focus. Anyways, there's that little pieces of um, stickers in there. And then I try to do it with my tape. And then I also try to, to do with um, washi tape. Now with the tapes, it kind of came off. This is the remnants of what happened. But still some things I had just had to pull with my fingers. And because I don't like having fingernails, um, it was a pain. Anyways, just giving you a heads up on those border stickers. So um, the next thing I did was um, I adhered my little block and I did add another border sticker on there and then the letter stickers for my title. And I did the border sticker on the other two pieces of blocks, white blocks that I have so that they're all the same. 
And then now I'm going to show you how I will, or I'm thinking of how to decorate this page. So I got these stickers from the 12 by 12 basic gray and um, they're just basically vines, but they're one huge um, flower. Now I wanted to put them as is, but then they weren't going to work on the edges. So I cut them down in threes and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to see if they're going to work on this side of the page and I'm just going to lay them flat for right now. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go try to adhere that over there. And that's why I had put all my titles on one side of the of the, the block just because I knew I was going to cover that up. And then, okay, now as you can see, this one's going to be way too big, so I'm going to have to trim it down. I'm thinking I'm just going to leave that for right now and then put this somewhere else. Maybe I'm going to put that right up here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where this is going to flow better. This is the beauty of scrapbooking is that you don't really know where it's going to go. So I don't want to hide too much of my pictures. Maybe it can go that way. And then what I'm going to do is go on this side, scoot this over, and then I'm going to tuck this in my photo my fingernails and then try to make that. I really don't like it to cover too much of my page, so I think I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go higher on that. Okay. Much better. So I have that sticker on the edge and then I have this one right here and of course I want to cover up this section over here where you can see where I connected those and then um, let me see we're gonna go back to our stickers here and see which one will work um, I think one of these flowers will work and um, so we're trying to think of layering it so I'd probably Probably go with this one. Oh, I like that. You guys see that? So this is the flower that I'm thinking of, but I'm thinking of layering it with another flower. So I'm gonna just adhere this flat like this and then find another flower to go on top of that. Think, think, think. Let me see here. Too many choices. Okay, see if this one will work. Oh, I like that. So we're going to adhere this with some foam adhesive. Just a couple. Maybe even just one. So I'm going to layer that flower with the one that I just put in there. And the beauty of layering stickers is that you really pile them up. Okay, so that's one flower that we've done. Let's try to see if we can put another one on there just to balance things out. And, um, hmm, thinking maybe this one? No, it has to be a round one since or maybe we'll do this one. Nope. Okay. Oh, this one might be good. Okay, I like that one. So this one's a sticker with a heart, and that's what I'm going to put on top of that, on the center of that flower. So there you have it. I have flower over there, and I have a flower over here. And then now I can decorate this part and also this part. 
Now I'm going to have to maybe nix my idea of using a sticker sheet for a journaling block just because I have all those white spaces. Um, I'm going to get back to you on this. Um, I'm going to fool around a little bit on my placements and then hopefully um, with my next um, well, when I come back with this video that I will have the finished product and I can tell you or show you what else I've done with the stickers. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, friends, I'm back. So this is the result of my piling it up with stickers. I have to be honest, I wasn't um, very happy with myself because I didn't pile up as many stickers I would hope for. But um, on the other side, I cannot just pile it up and then it will just look like a mess at the end. So I decided to stop where I was and call it good. So this is what I've done to pile it up with stickers. I have used um, three border stickers, layered it up, on the top and then I also added this really big uh, viney stickers. I layered it up with um, some more stickers. Let me see if I can close up. With some leaves, flowers, and I used foam adhesive so that it will be layered. I did add le um, stickers, letter stickers for my title and then I added some more um, uh, leaves stickers there and then I did add this little sentiment on my page on the other side I did the same thing with the borders I added one more heart on the edge and then this is the banner that I was telling you about so I did add the stickers and then I added another word sticker on top of this banner and then I added the pins and some twine added more flowers. Now this flower extends so after I take a picture of it I'll probably cut it out because it wouldn't fit my um, my sheet protector in my album. And then I added um, some flowers, the vines, leaves again with foam adhesive so that they're raised and layered some more of the flowers and then my journaling is um, on this side. I handwritten it and then I added another flower with um, layered flowers on the side. So there is my Pile It Up sticker version. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. And again, if you have any questions or comments or um, things that you would like um, to let me know, please um, leave me a comment or um, you can always catch me on my blog as well, tolmanconicles.blogspot.com and I will see you when I see you. Bye. So good.